this Math 99, and we are going to take a look at section 8.4. And in this 8.4, we're going to be adding and subtracting uh, fractions, these rational expressions. So if I think about 5 21sts plus 3 fourteenths, um, when we were doing this before, we had a common denominator already in place. We don't here. This, this denominator is 21, this number is 14. So this 5 is like of a different unit than this three. So we can't just add them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a common denominator. And uh, so I want something that both 21 and 14 go into. And what we usually try to do is find the least common denominator, the smallest uh, that we can get, just because less computational error. So I'm gonna factor both those denominators. So 21 is uh, three times seven, 14 is two times seven. And what I notice is they both already have a seven in them. This one has a three, this one has a two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this one by two over two. Notice that's just a version of one, right? So I'm multiplying by one, I'm changing the, val the form, but not the value of it. And this one, I'm gonna multiply by three over three. And notice what I'm doing is, now this denominator is gonna be two times three times seven. This denominator is gonna be two times three times seven and then I can add these things together. So two times five is 10, and then I have uh, two times three times seven down here, plus three times three is nine, those are multiplied, and then I have this 14 times three, which is also two times three times seven. So same denominators. So now I can add 10 plus nine over uh, whatever this is, 42, which is 19, over 42, and if it were to, were to reduce, I would uh, I would reduce it. So similarly, similarly, looking at this next one, uh, I have these two fractions. They have different denominators. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor each denominator to find a, and then find the common denominator. So things that multiply to three add to negative two or negative three and one. And when I go to um, factor this one, negative three and negative one. So what I notice is both of these denominators have an x minus 3 in them. So I don't need to, to add that to either one. This one has an x plus 1. This has an x minus 1. So to make them the same, this one's going to need an x minus 1, and this one's going to need an x plus 1. So I'm going to multiply this equation by this version of 1, x minus 1 over x minus 1. And multiply this equation by this version of 1, x plus 1 over x plus 1. That's a 1. And so if you'll notice, what I have is 8 times x minus 1. So this fraction becomes 8 times x minus 1 um, over, I got this x minus 1, x minus 3, x plus 1, plus 3x times x plus 1. And that is over that same denominator, x minus 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. So let me think about this one. Uh, I'm going to distribute this 8 into here. So I get, I'm going to move it up to here so I can see it better. Um, 8x minus 8 plus, distribute that 3x into there, 3x squared plus 3x. And that's still over my denominator. I just don't want to write it. Combine up some like terms. I got 3x squared. 8x plus 3x is 11x uh, minus 8 over the denominator. I'll write it now. x minus 1, x minus 3, x plus 2. Oh, no, sorry, x plus 1. And if this were factorable, I would try and factor it, but it's not because it's maybe I may, may be able to reduce it. But that is the answer to that one. All right, so I'm going to take a look at this next one that we have here. And uh, let me look at this denominator here, 16c. That's like 2 times 8 times c. Here I have the 8, here I have the c, and I have a d squared. So if I look at both of these denominators, if I want to make them the same, this one needs a 2, and this one needs a, this one needs a d squared. So I multiply this one by 2 over 2, and multiply this one by d squared over d squared. So I'm going to end up with 5d squared plus 3 times 2 is 6 over 16cd squared. 
and I can't factor, nothing cancels. There it is right there. All right, let's take a look at this one. Um, this denominator is an m plus three, this denominator is an m plus four. So this one, I'm gonna have to multiply by this. And this one, I'm gonna multiply by this version of one. And notice that now I have a common denominator, uh, m plus four times m plus three. So I'm going to distribute the 4 into here, 4m plus 16. And notice this is subtracting the 3. So I'm going to distribute a negative 3 to both of these. Minus 3m minus 9. And since the, I'm just combining them all, so I'll, that's just all over the whole m plus 4 over m plus 3. So 4m minus 3m is m. 16 minus 9 is what? 7? There it is right there. All right, another one here. Move it over a little bit more. All right, this one looks a little more involved. Uh, I'm going to factor both those denominators, find a common denominator, and then try to add it together. So this one will factor to m minus 2m plus 1. This will factor to m plus 2 m plus 1. And let's see, they both have a uh, m plus 1 in them, so I don't need that. This one needs an m plus 2, so I'm going to multiply by m plus 2 over m plus 2. This one needs an m minus 2. So 1 times m plus 2 is m plus 2. Distribute that 5 into that, m into there, 5m minus 10m and that's all over my my whole denominator uh, m plus 2 m minus 2 m plus 1 combine up some like terms oh this was a 5m squared sorry combine up some like terms up here i got a 5m squared m minus 10m is minus 9m plus 2 over I take a look at this. Uh, I'm not going to be able to factor that, so this is my nothing. Nothing else will cancel out. So that's that's my answer right there. All right, uh, x squared minus five x minus six. This would be um, x x minus six times x plus one. And I notice I have an x minus six here. This is a six minus x. If I multiply this by negative one, it's that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna multiply this by negative one over negative one. So this will be x minus six, and this will be um, a negative two. All right, this has an x minus six. This needs an x plus one. So I've got three x minus one. Notice that's minus a negative two, so that makes that plus. Distribute that two into there, uh, 2x plus 2. Combine up some like terms. 3x plus 2x is 5x. Negative 1 plus 2 is plus 1. That's not factorable, so there's my answer. All right, and last example. Um, I've got three fractions combined with addition and subtraction. I still need a common denominator. This has a v plus 1, this has a v minus 1. This is difference of squares. This will factor to uh, v plus 1 times v minus 1. Wow, that's convenient. Um, this one will need a v minus 1, so I'll multiply it by that version of 1. This will need a v plus 1, so I'll multiply it by this version of 1. So distribute that v into there. v squared minus v plus distribute that 3 into there. 3v plus 1. And it's hard to see, but this is a minus 6. And that's all over my denominator, which is v plus 1 times v minus 1. Combine up some like terms up top. Uh, v squared plus 2v uh, minus 5. All over v plus 1 times v minus 1. So let's fix that error. 
Um, so we are here. It looks like we can factor this numerator then. Things that multiply to negative 3 and add to 2 would be uh, v plus 3 and v minus 1. And notice that that's still over v plus 1 times v minus 1. v minus 1 divided by v minus 1. There is a 1, so we end up with, uh, as our answer for this, uh, v plus 3 over v plus 1. All right, that is cleaned up. All right, um, post any questions you have or message me with them and uh, take a look at the practice set.